Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. And as promised, now we're going to start digging into DLSS 3 and Unreal Engine 5.2 a little bit more. Now, this demo right here I put together this is not something that NVIDIA made like my previous video. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, go check it out. I pretty much show you how to install uh, DLSS 3 with frame generation and Unreal Engine 5.2. So this right here is more like a part two. Uh, basically me just trying out different environments, photorealistic ones, and putting some gameplay in it just to showcase it. Because again, it's fairly new. 5.2, I guess, by the time this video comes out, is public. But I do have the beta version, so just kind of to throw it out out there. Um, so this is the beta one that I have. And we're here in the Mavi's Burnt Forest. I put some gameplay, some enemies in here. Really just to test the DLSS 3 with frame generation, all right? So right now, this is running, I believe, let's see here, full screen, 380, 40, 2060. We have frame limit and limited VSync. I can turn this on if we want. And then right here, I have everything set to high right now. That's kind of what you're looking at. And nothing is going on. This is just native high settings, right? And right here, we have some instructions that I kind of put in. Uh, press F10 graphic settings, press J. When I press J, it's going to turn on DLSS on by itself, right? And if I press K, it's going to turn it on ultra performance. L is performance. Uh, U is balance. I is quality. And then O is DLSS on with 100% screen percentage. And then P DLSS is going to be off. All right, so with high settings right now, this is pretty playable. Uh, as far as the environment goes, this is stock. I did not, this is high quality, nanite, everything, assets. No optimization whatsoever. That's that's not the whole point of this test. The test is maximum out of the world test. Okay, so again, this is not a video game that, that you're probably going to want to make or, you know, test out for yourself. All right, so 56 frames per second on one RTX 4090 on an Intel 10 900K, which is pretty old i wish i can upgrade maybe eventually so let's go ahead and press j now and this is going to turn on dlss3 with frame generation and from my testing i've been playing with dlss3 for a couple of weeks at 4k resolution and up high settings and up your fps is pretty much going to double and that is insane before dlss3 i'm pretty much maxed out at high settings at 4k like what you saw in the beginning. But now, we actually have room to up the quality of our demo here. If you've been with me for a while, you know I do these demos, but we're usually crying for FPS because we just can no longer do it. But with the LSS3 now, with frame generation, we are getting, at high settings, 83% on the just turning it on, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press K. What this is going to do is turn it to ultra performance side of the DLSS. One thing you're going to notice is that the foliage gets a little bit blurry, right? As you can see right here, right here on the uh, middle, I can't point at it, but I guess right there, pay attention to the foliage because that's where you're really going to notice the difference. But now we're getting 140 frames per second in here, and I'm going to move around so you can kind of see what it's doing. And again, on my end, I'm just starting to notice that the foliage are starting to get a little bit blurry. Now, ultra performance is at 33% screen percentage, all right? So let's go ahead and switch this to L, which is going to be performance mode. Now, this is going to give us still 125, 24 frames per second in a performance mode. High settings, 4K. Look at these freaking bark, man. This right here is is bananas. This is most definitely, most definitely playable. All right. So again, it's doubling it. Let's see now. Uh, let's press U. I believe U is the perfect balance. Whenever I'm playing games with the LSS3, you kind of see here in the bushes area, they're not as blurry as before. So again, that's U. So I'm going to go with K. So we'll, we'll switch it over. Let's go to K. And you can see that the bush right there where I just shot gets a little bit murkier. And now I'm going to go to U. This is balance. Boom. They kind of get sharp a little bit. All right. So we'll walk around here. Balance at high settings. This is probably 
where I would stop. This is where I would game, you know. This is playable 108 frames per second, looking pretty good. But with that being said, let's kind of push it a little bit further. And let's go with I. I is going to be quality, all right? So this is quality. We're still getting pretty decent FPS, right? 101. So it's still pretty much double. Again, if you look at my right side, you're going to see 50 frames per second. Very much so double. The LS is 3 frame gen doubles it. So this looks good. Still playable. You know, I know some people out there like 0 MS, 999 frames per second, sure, whatever. But for me, 100 is plenty enough, all right? So let's press O now. This is going to turn DLSS on with 100% screen percentage. So O right now, and you're going to see that, boom, this is going to pop, right? So let's go with the previous one, which is I. Look at the bark right here. <laughs> you don't really see the difference there and this is what is blowing my mind and if i go to p right now actually that's off let, let me go back to o the textures on the bark are not changing it's really just where the foliage uh the grass and things like that that's where you're gonna see the difference and again what's crazy about this is the way i understand dlss through frame generation is that it is generating frames using ai how is it generating frames without having to pre-train for this demo here? Now, as much as I would love to say it's just magic, there, there's so much engineering and in, in just pure genius that's happening in the background because I did not send this demo to NVIDIA to pre-train on it so that it can generate frames with frame generation. I packaged this up, put the gameplay in, combine all the assets, packaged it up, and then just turn DLSS 3 on like you saw in my previous video. That just doesn't make sense because I thought you would need to pre-train your, your game before you can, it can work with DLSS 3. And honestly, my mind is blown. When, when I saw this, and, and big thanks to Richard Cowgill and Zach Lowe, by the way, because they've been asking me my question, and I kid you not, I, I sent screenshots and I said, how is this possible? This this just does not make sense. So I told him, please do a live stream and talk about this because, yo, I've been gaming my entire life and this doesn't make sense. The frame generation piece without having to get any pre-trained nothing. All right, so let's press P now to turn that off. I'm sorry, I just had to share that because because they were super cool with it. There, there's no strings attached here. They just gave me the plugin. I'll play with it. They had they had their sample projects, which is the grandma's house. I'm like, cool, yeah, I'll I'll use that for for the installation part. But I'm want to do my own environments that we've done here on the channel, right? I'm gonna do the same exact ones that we've done here on the channel just to see if we can get some frames per second back. So here we are with P with DLSS three frame generation off, 50 frames per second. Now. This is JS Films. So hold on to your papers. Go to settings. Full. Now we're going to go with Ultra. Apply. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where it's going to get insane. I'm running this at 12 frames per second. Looks very good on the RTX 4090. It's using 100% of my GPU and it is just saying no more now <laughs> let's turn on dlss3 this is dlss3 on frame generation just standard same exact thing i just switched it on 22 frames per second right again double now let's go to k which is ultra performance and ladies and gentlemen we are now playing 4k cinematic settings in Unreal Engine 5.2. And again, like I mentioned, the foliage, you're really gonna start seeing that's taking a hit, and that's why I picked this environment. I'm not gonna be easy on it, man. We're gonna go now with L, which is performance mode. Now we're getting performance mode at 50 frames per second, all right? This is just giving you a glimpse of what the future of gaming is going to be about. Because even with a $1,700 GPU that I paid MSRP, I am now able 
to run cinematic settings in an Unreal Engine 5 demo gameplay. The cinematic settings in Unreal Engine 5 is supposed to be only for cinematics. But here, with DLSS 3, we're going from 14 frames per second to 51 frames per second. This is absolutely bananas because next-gen GPUs, you can probably already imagine we're probably going to be able this we're probably going to be able to play this even more so at a higher quality of instead of performance, right? So for the sake of the demonstration, we'll continue on. So that was performance. And let's now go to U, which is balance. Again, my favorite setting when it comes to DLSS. Now we're starting to drop 43 frames per second. You know, it's starting to go down. And if I go to quality now, if I press I, you know, you're really going to start slowing down. And then at O... At 100% screen percentage, you're going to go back to like 20, 21 frames per second, which is a little bit more than the actual native, which is a P with it off, 17, 12, that's with it everything off. And man, I'll tell you what, let's go back to L right here. If, if I flip through, and we're just talking about the bark textures for now, because obviously the foliage is just going to suffer. If you look at this bark right here, and we switch from P, which is off, and then we'll go to, what is it? Let me see. Let's, and then we'll go to Ultra, which is K. All right. So pay attention. I'm going to go to K now. You really don't see that texture. You really don't see it changing. And again, without pre-training a model, of my demo, I don't know how this is possible. And, and it's so easy for us nowadays to take stuff for granted, but this technology right here, especially with DLSS 3 being in a $299 graphics card called the RTX 4060 coming out soon, you're going to have access to that technology for $300, for this technology for $300. Insane, all right? And now before I go, I know majority of us don't really game at 4K, all right? We just don't, because we're like competitive, whatever. Majority of the gamers right now game in 1440p or 1080p. So let me now show you what that will look like. So here we go with Ultra 1440p, it's gonna reboot my computer or whatever. What I'll do is I'll flip this over to high, which is usually for console, That's that would be kind of like your target. All right, so ultra performance at K, we're getting 120 frames per second, which is locked to my actual monitor. So let's not do that. Let's, let's unlock that so we can see how much FPS we're actually getting. So here you go, 120, 121, 122, 125. This is 1440p at K settings, which is ultra performance. All right, let's go with L. And this is performance, 114. U balanced, which is 107-ish. I, this one is quality right here, 100 frames per second. 102. And then we have O, which is 100% total at high settings. 1440p DLSS 3 with frame generation. Uh, I can safely say I played Forza, I played Cyberpunk. 1440p gaming with DLSS 3 frame gen, perfect spot when it comes to quality and performance. Because honestly, that 4K right now is still a little bit more overkill, especially if you're playing it on a 27 inch monitor, 32 inch monitor. You're really not going to see the big difference, right? Um, but but yeah, this this is crazy, man. Uh, but with that being said, this is just one of many demonstrations that I'm going to be doing with the LSS3 in Unreal Engine 5.2. I'll see y'all in the next one.